you've got a team where you're with Sandy Blamichani, Muji Barivan, Virasan Pramal, and unless one of those guys get injured or multiple other players in that group get injured, there's a high probability you're not going to get a game. So putting aside the training and, and trying to improve your skills and sharpen your skills and just commit yourself, how did you prepare yourself mentally to get the best experience possible out of the CPL last year? Mental health wise, I, I try to keep myself out of like negative head spaces. So I, a lot of, I push a lot of those kind of thoughts you know, out. I don't look at it. It's just like, okay, it's just this tournament. And, you know, I don't get a, to- a chance this tournament and I'm screwed for life. You know, for me, everything is a learning experience. When I go there and I see my name against all the spinners, yeah, on one hand, you know, I could look at it and just be like, yeah, you know, I'm not going to get to play because I'm against three of the best spinners in the world right now. On the other hand, I could be like, you know, there are three of the best spinners in the world and I can learn so much from these guys being there. And that was one of the best things of 2020 being uh, my first CPL in that every single player that we're stuck in a bubble, as we are going to be this year. But being in a bubble, you're, I'm, I'm around every single player where they might be off with their spouse or partying or wherever during a different CPL. Here I'm stuck in a hotel with every single guy. You know, so I use that to really get to know them, to learn from them whatever tips they had for me and just use that to build myself better in in whatever way I can. The unfortunate part about it, like Bloomberg wasn't as understanding uh, about me going out there for it. You know, I bet if it was like the New York Yankees and they saw that, they'd be like, oh yeah, you know, sure. But when you say cricket to these guys, you know, I look at you with like three heads. So uh, they weren't as understanding. I actually had to leave the company for that. But this year uh, I'm with a company, uh, Broadridge, yeah, way more understanding than Bloomberg. There are yeah, some cricket fans in there as well, so that helps. And, and they're fine with me going away for the tournament. Honestly, that was really the only little setback when it came to last year's CPL. Mentally, that was the only thing that did take a little toll. It was like, damn, man, I didn't really get to play any games and also had to like leave my job as like a sysadmin over there. You know, that that took a little mental toll itself, but... Aside from that, cricket-wise, I really try to use it to the best of my ability to learn as much as I can, take in all the training and the work ethic that I see from these guys. Andre Russell, there was a night, like, he he came into my room, we chatted for about maybe four hours, which was uh, awesome. I don't know if I'd ever get that experience anywhere else, but just seeing uh, his work ethic, it really is inspiring. You know, seeing a guy like that and having, you know, the, the pleasure to play alongside of him it was amazing. But I, I've never seen somebody that trains like that guy trains, truly an athlete. And I try to, like, take all these guys' spirits, whether it's his mentality, whether it's, like, Sandeep showing me a few different tricks, bowling, you know, Majib showing me a few things. Uh, even even Permal, he showed me quite a few things. He's one of my closest friends during the tournament. But I really try to use every tip that I got from them to better myself. And I'm hoping, you know, hoping to go this year. And, hey, if it comes again that don't get a chance, it'd be unfortunate. But, uh, you know, I'm hoping they bring me back a second year. Maybe there'll be a you know, better chance of me actually making the squad for a game or two and just got to show people what I can do. You know, give them a reason to keep me in the squad. Having the four-hour chat in the hotel room with with Andre Russell. I remember doing ball with all commentary for Crick Info on a number of games throughout the CPL. And whenever they show you on uh, camera, you were always next to Andre Russell. Or do I put that the other way around? When Andre Russell was shown on camera, you were next to him. <laughs> it seems like you had quite a tight relationship within the squad. And I'm curious, you know, in spite of the fa- your role as a leg spinner, is there one person out of that group, spinner or non-spinner, that you would say you learned the most from and what was the number one lesson you took away from them, whether from a mental standpoint, mental approach, or a technical skills approach that you feel you absorbed to try and give yourself the best chance to get into the starting level for the next CPL? I, w- I would say Russell was a, a huge inspiration. In general, you know, I've always looked up to him. I went to, uh, it was uh, in, the, in the West Indies to watch him play in Barbados, like 2006, I think it was. I met Fidel 
Edwards there too. And it was amazing. Just, I, I showed him a picture of me at like 12 years old with my arm around him. And then we took the same exact photo and he was like, boy, you make me feel old, but just, just Russell in general, um, seeing his work ethic. I mean, also just, I, I follow him obviously on Instagram and stuff like that, but, uh, really, really seeing a guy like him and the work that he puts in being at the caliber that he is type of player, actually having made it in almost every big squad uh, that you can make it in and still putting in the amount of work that he does. It really, really is inspiring. I remember one time uh, he was training for like six days straight. And on the seventh day, it was going to be his rest day. And then I saw him just sweating. And he just looked and said, you know what? I, I thought about it and I said, what has rest ever done for me? What has a rest day ever done? Nothing. But hard work has done so much for my life. So I just ran out and ran a few miles. And, you know, j- just that kind of mentality, always staying hungry, no matter what. And, and just seeing that in motion, not just like people say it all the time, you know, but actually seeing that and seeing what that hard work does is something that I've tried to embody in my game and really help train for this year's CPL. And I've been really training every day, trying to, you know, hopefully if I get the chance and my name is called to, again, show people what I can do, show them what the U.S. has got.